Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to another CD Tack On aka Real Madrid Women review. Today's game, they come up against Sevilla. Uh, I believe this is a league game, first game of the season. Like their actual, they've had a couple preseason games. This is obviously a really big game for them. Uh, Sevilla being a really good side. They're, you don't really see them though getting to Champions Leagues or, or well, that's really all they have. In women's football, I would love a UEFA Women's Europa League, but then you have a whole problem of are the teams going to be that good? Is it going to be entertaining to watch? Because there is a massive gap, especially you can see it in England, like between the top division and the second division is a massive gap. But even if you could just open up another two places to a Europa League in every league, uh, then the qualifiers obviously for teams in Ireland, similar to how they do in the Champions League. But that's not really what this is about. This game is about Real Madrid women coming up against Sevilla in the league. Uh, I'm just going to go right into it. Two goals came, well, actually, it was not that early, but relatively early on. 15th minute, Sevilla get off to the best that they would have wanted. Going 1-0 up through Telpain, Telpane, uh, scoring after 15 minutes with a very good goal. It wasn't the best defending though from Real Madrid's point of view. They could have done a lot better. This team is expected to do very well. It costs a lot of money to bring it together. I still think it will take a year for the whole team just to gel, for the team to come together. Uh, can't wait for the derby. Well, the derby, not derby, sorry. Well, the derby as well against Atletico Madrid with Tony Dugan obviously being there. But also the El Clasico against Barcelona. That's going to be amazing. But Real Madrid equalised very, very quickly. And for just the 17th minute, I believe the Swedish, I believe she's Swedish international, Aslani scoring a goal. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe she's Swedish. Scoring after 17 minutes to bring Real Madrid level, to give them a chance in this game to win it. And, um, yeah, they had so many chances to do it. Uh, but that's how I went into half time, 1 1. And then going into the second half, Madrid get the perfect start. 1 minute in, 46th minute, Navarro scoring the goal. Very quick start, straight away. Less, it was, I think it was less than a minute, but, but it's classified as the 46th minute. For Real Madrid, aka City Tacon, to get a 1 goal. Did bring themselves one goal in the lead, two goals to one up. And they held on for quite a long time. Sevilla were pressing, Sevilla had good chances. Sevilla, they played very well. That's the main thing to say. I think they played better. And they did win, two goals to two. And I think they deserve that win. Uh, Real Madrid had a couple good opportunities. But I just think Sevilla were just the better side. Uh, by the way, this game was live streamed on Twitter, on CD Tacon's Twitter. So, if you do want to watch the matches, go follow CD Tacon. I believe they will be streaming the majority of them. Uh, there's a, just under, there's about 150 people at one point watching it, which isn't a lot. But, it's quite a bit. Uh, it was done through, like, the way Real Madrid do it. So, yeah. But then, about half an hour later, 74th minute, Raquel Pino, Pina Saez, probably butchered that name completely, but Saez scoring on the 74th minute to bring Sevilla level, to make it two goals to two, to bring both teams within a chance of winning this with 15 minutes left on the clock. And then right towards the end of the match, three minutes were added on. Sevilla, get the winner. I was going to say a word that didn't work. Get the winner. Para Retomar scoring in the 91st minute to give Sevilla the win. And... I believe this is a league game. I could be wrong. It could be a cup competition. I really don't know. Um, I'm just going to say, I think it was a league game. So give them all three points going into their next fixture, which I'm not too sure who it is up against for either side. But Sevilla come away with this win. Three goals to two. Uh, it was a very good game. Very close game. Uh, but... I think, as I said, it could take a year for this team to really gel this Madrid side. And within the next year, when they're called Real Madrid, when they have the Madrid jerseys, it could just change completely. And it could give them an extra motivation to do even better than what they 
We know they can do very well. I'm pretty sure they will do amazing. Um, but it was just... Sevilla just has that little bit too much. And also, sometimes they're defending for City tack on. They could have done better to prevent the goal. The keeper made some brilliant saves. Both keepers made some good saves. Uh, so I don't really want to put them in the fault. I always hate blaming their own keepers anyway. But... Anyway, leave a like for this video. I will be reviewing more CD Tack on games. I'm not too sure when the next fixture is, but be sure then to subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I upload to get notified. And bye.